Hey Battle Babes, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and I have Trey right there. Oh, this feels so <laughs> what up, what up, what up? <laughs> so it is a nice warm Saturday, y'all. It don't make sense. It's December 31st and it is how hot is it outside? Look, it's it's sunny outside. I had to go and change out of the outfit that I had on and put this on. He had to go and change out of sweatpants and put on some shorts because it is that hot, it's ridiculous. Winter don't make sense in Texas. But we are on our way to a dog park that he found so we can let the doggies run around. Is Yusuke, where's she at? To the left. <laughs> so this is Yusuke, I don't even think I revealed her name yet. This is Nesico. I named them myself. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go to this um, dog park so the dogs come around and honestly, I don't know what else. I like that mean yet. But I need a little girl there too, probably. Ooh. I'm gonna get her a puff cup. Yeah, why not? <laughs> anyway, so yeah. That's first pretty much. Puff cup. <laughs> first puff cup. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today. It's not a real plan, but we don't have anything else to do. Upstairs, just writing down all my goals and stuff. Y'all know what I like to do. I have my notebooks and I like to write down my goals and plans and stuff that I want to accomplish the following year or the upcoming year. Um, I don't ever make it through my list, but this year I'm determined to make it through that list. He didn't make the list. I don't need a list. I'm just, I just do it. Do it. Just go do it. Just do it. No plans. I need a list. I need to see it. I need to see it. I need to see my progress. It's either I'm gonna be very motivated and excited because I'm scratching things off my list or I'm gonna be very um, disappointed and discouraged because I'm not making it through my list as soon as I would like to, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But we'll see you guys when we get to the dog park. And this is going to be a very interesting experience. I'm gonna carry this. Like a little, the little water thing. Oh, those squeeze things? Yeah. Oh, you didn't bring it? I thought I did. <laughs> she might follow. Let's see what she's doing over there. How she's posted up like that. She don't know what she's trying to do. Oh, look at the parks right there, right here. So we made it to the dog park and I have Yusuke right here and Trey has Nesico somewhere over there. They were able to make it inside of the dog park. I'm here with Yusuke and we haven't quite made it in because Yusuke is not that fond of people and he's not really that fond of other dogs. And so we've been working on trying to get him used to that since Nesico's still just a little bitty puppy. She's over there doing really good with the other people and the other dogs. So she's doing really good. She's still really timid and frightened sometimes. Like she just ran away um, and then this nice couple had to catch her. But other than that, she does really good with socializing with people. Yusuke on the other hand, not so much. So what I'm doing um, is I'm just taking it slow, walking him back and forth, up and down, like this outside part here. So that's the entrance right there of the dog park. And then this is just a little trail leading up to the dog park and so I'm just walking him back and forth um, any of the dogs that run up to the fence <laughs> sit. sit so kind of like that hey look at me focus focus sit you scared sit he's just a little anxious it's a little anxious, so like I said, I'll have him like more so outside of the dog park, especially when there's a lot of dogs and people and stuff in there. And he does, he does okay. So he was just barking for about a good 20 minutes and now he's quiet because there's no dogs or like people over here. They're more so in the distance, so he's fine. You wanna walk? You wanna go walk? Come on, let's go walk.
we finally let you skate into the actual dog park. I was talking to a guy that has three of his dogs here and he was telling me that one of his dogs kind of was the same way as uh, Yusuke. <laughs> and I was nervous to bring him in, but he's like, honestly, you just have to bring him in and let him loose. And I'm like, all right. You said your dog did okay. Okay, we gonna try it. So you got Yusuke back here playing with Trey. Let's go. Look, look. Yeah, she had it. She's had it with her. <laughs> it's funny because he keeps trying it. <laughs> He'll learn. His version of playing is alternative, it seems, because he's not playing. He's like running up to the dogs and like barking at them. He's not doing anything, but he's just very aggressive about it. He's good. Yeah, keep doing the same thing over Good job. And once again, I need to get my freaking car mount situation together. Hey y'all, what's up? I honestly do not know where I left off in this vlog, but today's a new day and I got up earlier than I would have liked to get up this morning because I thought I had formation. I really thought I had formation. The information that was put out was so freaking confusing, but since I'm still on leave, I don't have to be at formation, so. I took advantage of the time and I had to run to the Amazon locker because something got delivered. It is this little lock box that I had ordered for my envelopes because I will be, <laughs> because I will be doing the um, 100 envelope challenge again this year and I'm just opening it to take a look. This is so little. I'm trying to figure out what's supposed to fit in here exactly. Like what is... <laughs> what in the world is supposed to fit in here? Let's see. 
because I'm sitting here looking at this little part here and what there's no dollars gonna fit in there what is that but I guess it's like for coins um, maybe rings and stuff like that from the looks of it the main part I needed was this part um, and I'm gonna be putting like my envelopes and stuff as I fill them in here and I guess for whatever reason I need to put anything else in there I have this little thing here so yeah it's pretty neat it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be though look at that and I wanted the white one definitely smaller than I thought it was gonna be so I can um, set the passcode so I'll do that a little later okay. I'll do that later oh, wait I'm gonna need this I'm about to go upstairs because I've been in this car long enough to run in my mouth I'm thinking I'm about to make some waffles because I made some waffle mix yesterday thinking I wanted waffles but then I also made pancake mix because my roommate wanted pancake but the pancake mix was way better than the waffle mix so I ended up making me some pancakes and I put the waffle mix in a fridge so hopefully it's still good I covered it and everything but before I go upstairs I ordered a green tea matcha a green matcha latte how do you say it it's a it's a ice matcha latte whatever it's grown on me it's I actually like it it's crazy because I had this like a year ago like I had it once before and I was like how the hell do people drink this this is disgusting too nasty ew drinking this and I am actually really really liking that it's nice it's smooth I'm pretty sure they probably put regular milk in this so my stomach is about to be messed up later but I like this this is probably about to be my new healthy drink I don't know tell me down in the comments is this even a healthy drink I don't know new year newbie <laughs> I also got two of the pink drinks with light ice because that's what we like It is a little later in the day and I just paused the TV. I'm watching Despicable Me. I just watched the first Despicable Me. Now I'm watching Despicable Me 2 and I'm waiting for Romy to get back so we can watch Despicable Me 3. Yes. Um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm actually editing a video that is almost done. I cannot wait to be done editing that freaking video because honestly, it's been a while since I've posted a long um vlog so that's pretty much why it's taking so long it's going to be about 40 ish minutes long maybe like 35 40 minutes long but that's a long vlog to me i be seeing vlogs that's like an hour long and stuff like that i'll get there eventually this is so dark but for right now about 30 minutes of vlog time it's a long time for me so hold on i'm trying to put this tripod on here what am i doing right now so i'm getting something to eat um it is about to be oh it's about to be five o'clock in the afternoon and the only thing i ate this morning was breakfast around 11 o'clock and i am just making me a um what is that avocado and salmon avocado salmon toast is what i'm making right now i'm kind of irritated because i don't have like the bowl that i used to have at my old house where i can like smush my avocado so i had to like cut it in half cut it up in there and try to like <laughs> smush it that way and honestly I might have to cut another one because I don't think this is going to be enough but yeah so right now I'm just honestly is just making content because I do have to sign in for work I have to sign in I believe by 11 59 so I'll be signing back in from leave unfortunately later on tonight so i've just been trying to hurry up and get this video loaded up um get some reels and stuff kind of pre-filmed and ready to go for this coming week y'all so my new upload schedule and honestly i would say don't hold me to it but i'm gonna say it this year hold me to it because i'm trying to be a little bit more consistent so as of right now the way i'm wanting to do it is i'm wanting to upload vlogs on 
Mondays. <laughs> Where was my brain for a second? I just have to figure out like my scheduling, how I'm gonna like flip all of it, how I'm going to make sure I'm like not burning myself out. I used to upload like two, three times a week a few years back because for those of you that don't know I've been on YouTube since 2018 and because of like just a lot of trauma and a lot of things that started happening in my life I kind of fell off I kind of started taking a break and trying to figure out what direction I want to take my channel in because I used to make a lot of oh wait there's too much on this one I used to make a lot of military content and like I just don't want to do that anymore I don't want to make strictly no oh, shoot I don't want to make strictly military content anymore so as far as my food this is the um the salmon i like to use is the ready to eat to be honest i use all kind of different brands i just like the thin sliced i like the thin sliced smoked salmon um the ready to eat one and it comes on like this little platter plate thing like this and it smells really good like it smells smoked and sam is over here because she smells my freaking salmon there is my avocado salmon toast ladies and gentlemen right there right there it's actually pretty good people will be looking at it okay it's actually really really good people will be looking at me like i'm crazy when i tell them that it's like raw um salmon but it's it's really good for those of you you if you if you get it you get it i'm not gonna explain why it's good i also end up getting a pink drink earlier when i was at starbucks so i just stuck that in the fridge because i was drinking juice with my breakfast so i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this pink drink oh wait is this one mine i low-key don't think this was mine but whatever i'm gonna enjoy my pink drink with my Oh wow, where's your PT belt you? So you get to do whatever you want to do. Wait, where's my ID? Is it in my car? Maybe. Look at this. That's why I need the camera. Yeah, lighting's horrible. So bad. Anywho, it is, what time is it? It is 10. Oh, 11 o'clock on the dot, actually. It's 11 o'clock on the dot. So it's 11 o'clock. Leave is officially over and we are going to sign in. Yay, so excited. Like some peasants, the peasantry. So back at it again. Zero three o'clock, wait, zero three hundred in the morning. So literally in a few hours, we have to be back up again for formation for 100% your analysis. Good thing we did that crack cocaine at the beginning of leave. <laughs> <laughs> that was <Christmas> stupid. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. Is it really that dark in here? Oh, wow, it's so dark in here. That's crazy. Like you literally can't see anything. Okay. That's crazy. It's crazy. I said, ooh. Just got my breakfast. Let me put this shit back together. Got me a double smoked bacon sandwich with a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. But let me stir this up because it it's not looking like it's supposed to look again. So some of the Starbucks, they actually shake them up for you, but some of them just give it to you and the syrup be all at the bottom and you have to stir it up yourself and stuff. I'm pretty sure. I 
I'm pretty sure they put four shots of espresso in this anyway when I asked for two shots. Like, how do you? Whatever. I have my double smoked bacon sandwich here right and i take my egg off of the sandwich and i put it in the bag because i don't like to eat it it's like that fake microwavable um egg i don't really like so i take it off and all i eat is like the croissant or bread or whatever this is the bacon and the cheese i could actually do without the cheese but since i can't take it off i eat it anyway but that's how i eat my sandwich <laughs> I've been thinking about you I'm waiting for it all to come true I'm longing to hear you say You know that I miss us I wanna be the one that you trust Cause you have stole my heart away Hey y'all, what's up? So this is officially, officially the first day back at work after leave and it is actually a little after, it's actually a little after lunch time. Our um, report time for today was 1300, but it's a little bit after because I let them know that I have to tie in this car. Where did I see? I let them know that I had to stay behind because I actually have to, wait, what? Where's my AC? <sighs> I let them know that I have to stay behind because it is now the third and my rent should have been paid yesterday, but um, the office was closed. So I'm up here to pay it right now actually because they're open. And I also have to check on my work order because y'all, when I say our apartment smells absolutely disgusting, and I'm pretty sure it's because of all the leaking water and stuff that's um, leaking in, what's that? All the stuff that's leaking in the laundry room. It smells really wet. You can see mold and stuff underneath. This little like platform thing. I can't really explain. Oh shit, where's my, where's my PC? I wanna think it's in the trunk. I can't really explain it. Um, I don't know, It just it just smells really bad. It's a leak at that. It's a really bad leak and they need to come and fix it because now the carpet is getting wet and I feel like the wet carpet is making it smell even worse. Yet we put this work order in about two days ago, two, three days ago. Leaks are supposed to be emergencies yet they didn't come out yet. So I'm about to go ahead and pay my rent real quick and then ask them about my damn work order. I'm trying my hardest to rush because I am, my car is, I'm about to say is my car on? Um, I'm trying to hurry up and rush and make it to this class. I'm only like six minutes away anyway. It's fine. Um, that definitely didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. She said that they can send somebody out uh, later today. Y'all, I don't understand why they, I'd be so irritated because they tell us to do everything online, but then for whatever reason, they don't see the stuff that we put in online or they're just ignoring it at this point. But yeah, I'm trying to hurry up, rush to class, see what's going on, and y'all, I feel like I look a mess right now. I really could have presented a little bit better coming back from leave, but whatever. Okay. Oh. Go ahead and let me go ahead and spray myself down. I have this cute little, can you see that? This cute little mini miniature size perfume in the car. When I do buy my perfume, I get the gift sets because I like the fact that it has a little mini perfume in it because I like to put the little mini perfume in my car. And I like the fact that it has hand lotion because I like to put the hand lotion in my car. Go ahead and spray myself, put some lotion on my hands real quick because one thing about me is I gotta smell good. I got to smell good. And it's not even for other people 
people I like to smell the scent on me and if I ever stink or if I'm ever like musty or something I expect y'all to tell me <gasps> there it goes and my stomach hurt I am back home I finally got out of that freaking uniform y'all look at this outfit real quick look at this I be wanting to wear stuff like this to the gym so bad because one come on let's go let's go let's go I'm making a lot of progress I won't lie it's back there. I'm impressed. It is back there. Look at that. Mm. But I want more definition in my abs. I kind of want my thighs and my butt a little tighter. You can't tell. <laughs> you can't really tell um, with these shorts on. But when I say it's shaking more than I would like it to shake. And I want it to be a little bit more tight. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be as tight as my stomach. Because look at that. I really be wanting to wear stuff like this to the gym so I can be an Instagram daddy. Honestly, I feel like if I had like an empty gym, I probably wouldn't mind. And then I go to gym on post, so there's that. But just one more time. Just look at it one more time, cause goddamn, goddamn I'm proud of myself. Gaining my little weight back. I freshened up just a little bit. I'm about to go in, don't wanna lay down. Yeah, I'm gonna sit in the bedroom. I'm gonna sit in the bedroom so I can go ahead and, um, uh, my mind just keeps blowing. What? Rise of crew. Y'all, I've been in love with the menu movies lately. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. What about your sales? Oh, no. <laughs> hold on. I gotta find it. I don't know if y'all tried that new sweet and spicy it's actually really spicy meat that they have at Cordoba because I got this from Cordoba but it is so good and you guys I think this is the first piece that is coming in to go to my planner this planner here and I think these are my Ollie clips so I got these off was this Amazon Honestly, I can't remember. Where did I get this? Oh, it's Amazon. I got these off of an Etsy shop. Well, oh dang, I can order one. Anyway, so here is the first item for my planner. Just this brown Ollie clip. I noticed that a lot of the people that I was watching the reviews and stuff on the planner, they had this clip and I just really liked it so much because it looked cute. So let's see oh yeah that is a strong clip look at that where i'm putting this is gonna be wait wait can i order this movie what? can i order this movie hey, what? thank you i'm using my roommate's account and so i've been renting the movies on his account because i don't have one anyway look at that <laughs> look at that this is the first edition this is the f this is the start of me building out this planner y'all y'all just don't understand how excited i am to finally be moving into this planner i can't wait i'm super excited so yeah a cute little cream brownish color um i'll be clip and i still have to you know what let me take this out now because i won't be using this stuff a clean slate a blank slate 
first addition is this nice little ollie clip here and i'm so excited to be moving into this one but let me go ahead and watch my movie and eat my food before it gets cold So we're currently in class, honestly, just on a study hall right now. And when I say I'm exhausted, I am so tired. I'm trying to figure out if I really feel like running today because I told myself I was going to try to go to the track and run because I'm trying to work out this year. But I don't know if I have the energy to do that. One thing I am excited about though is my camera lens finally came. So I gotta go and pick that up from the Amazon locker as soon as I get off. You know what i'm sitting here staring at this honey bun that i bought yeah i'm gonna go run today because i've been eating like crap ever since we got back like the last few days i've been eating like crap and i said i was done with that for this year so yeah i'm about to go ahead and go in class though and clean because apparently we're going to be released soon so yeah and i hope you heard any of that that i just said because the wind is blowing like crazy but it feels so good outside Hey y'all, what's up? We are out of class. I'm in the car. Should be on my way home, but I'm not. I'm so glad today is over. I'm so glad it's the end of the day because when I say it has been today draining me, it has been so overwhelming. I have been so emotional, so overwhelmed, and just frustrated all at the same time, which is the reason I'm not heading home. I'm actually heading to speak to my commander and honestly i'm not happy about it i don't want to have to be doing stuff like this but dumb shit happens every day dumber shit has happened every day i'm about to go ahead and park this car real quick my appointment with him isn't for another about 20 minutes so i'll park and i'll tell you guys why okay i have arrived to my destination let's try it. okay all right so uh where do i start so I decided today that I did not want to finish this course. I know that sounds so stupid because here I am. I've been here since July and I am on my last test. Y'all know what I've been going through when it comes to taking these freaking tests. And here I am, oh shit. <laughs> and here I am on the last test and I don't want to finish. I don't, I'm done. Like I am, I'm empty. Like I'm drained and I'm done. And I had a full breakdown, a full breakdown, I won't lie. Tears were involved because I'm just so stressed out. I'm just, I don't like where I'm at. I don't like what I feel mentally. I don't like how things are going here. And it's not even necessarily like school and stuff like that because I feel like I'm still doing okay in school. But I'm gonna be completely honest because I told y'all I'm gonna start being a little bit more transparent with y'all. I don't think my chain of command cares for me. I don't. And that's on the company side, not the instructor side. On the instructor side, honestly, the instructors are the real reason why I feel like I'm I even made it this far. But when it comes to like the company side of my chain of command, I don't see them caring for me. And this is just me, in my opinion. This is Sergeant Stark's opinion. This is how Andrea Siobhan feels on the inside. This is just me. The actions don't, how can I say it? They say they care and things like that because I've had conversations and stuff before, but those are empty ass words to me when the actions say otherwise. And I don't like that feeling. I don't like that feeling that I have to sit in front of somebody and, and either plead a case or um, ask for help or just honestly tell them about situations that I have going on when in the back of my mind, I know for a fact, like you don't give a fuck, like you don't care. And I hate that. And that's one of the things that I hate at this point about being in the army. It's like you have people that are over you that literally controls your life that will not give a fuck about you, but you don't have a choice but to go to them and hope for the best, honestly. And that's that's genuinely how I feel. And so today, I just became super overwhelmed because one of the things that's been going on with me is, y'all, okay, if you, if you a real OG subscriber, if you an OG follower, you know how I feel about 
um, like going to sick call and stuff like that. Especially with my endeavors on trying to become an officer and stuff like that. I was trying my hardest to avoid being on any profiles, being like going back and forth to sick call, stuff like that, because I didn't want any other reason like a medical waiver or whatever the case may be. I just didn't want anything to stop me from commissioning. So I never really went to sick call. A lot of other things has happened to me in the past that's causing me to decay mentally. And that's just not, that isn't something that I'm ready to open up with you all about just yet, but I will because it needs to be done. Um, just not yet, but just know that it has affected me holistically every single thing about my person about my being about my happiness about my men like every single thing has been affected by that single event and it's just driving me crazy for years i've been dealing with it by myself um just just trying to deal with it and i felt like i was doing okay until i realized that I'm way more stressed out than I thought. I am way more, I needed help, a lot of help, and I did not realize it. And now I feel like it's too late, so I'm going back and forth to these appointments and stuff like that, trying to you know, save myself, trying to figure these things out. So dealing with that, on top of being in a hyper stressful, um, like this program, is one thing. But then when you take the toxic nonsense of the company and add that on top of everything, it's like, y'all, I am breaking. Um, I, I just been going through a lot. Like I've been going through a lot. And one thing that I try to always stand on is like, at least I'm doing a good job where I'm at. At least I'm doing a good job in the army. And these past few months has been really hard. Hold on, I have to go in this place. They have. It's been. It's been really hard. And honestly, I have a few key people that's been helping me. I have a few key. <sighs> Hold on. Let me get my life together. So, these last few months have been really hard for me. Uh, mentally, honestly, it's been mentally draining. And I am, and it's just getting worse. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to cope with whatever is going on the best I can. And honestly, I feel like a lot of the old wounds has just reopened now that I am seeing behavior health and I'm trying to work through a lot of it because I just don't like the person that I have become behind what happened to me. So I've been trying to work through that. But dealing with this nonsense, the company, it's just, it's even more stressful and it's just adding, it's, it's just breaking me. And so a few of the things specifically is like just being under a microscope. When I say every single, it's damn near, it's something every other day, somebody is saying something or asking about me specifically or just, just nitpicking about something I feel like at this point and it's driving me absolutely crazy. And I know it may seem little, but today um, I was asked about an appointment. Now, I've been under treatment for about a month now. I've been seeing behavioral health for about a month. My appointments are at a set time every week, the same exact day of the week, the same exact time on that same exact day of the week, and I've been doing that for a month. My counselor knew about it. Um, all of that stuff was out there. I have the appointment slips, yet somehow, every time I need to go to this appointment, it is a problem, and it's to the point where Every time I have to do anything, it is a problem. And I'm scared to even go because I don't want anybody saying anything to me. I had COVID, y'all, and I didn't even, I was sick as hell. And I didn't even want to go and, you know, get tested or anything like that because I knew they were going to say something. And they did. They did. And so, you know, today I had this appointment. I'm, I finished the appointment and then I get a call 
saying, "Hey, Starks, uh, where were you this? Where were you today? Because you didn't, you weren't in class, and nobody knew where you were at." I hate that when they say nobody knew where I was at because yes, y'all do. Yes, y'all do. Stop playing with me because yes, y'all do. And so you know what I? It irritated me so bad, and it's like if any. I don't know what my issue is and I really I probably need to talk about this and behavioral health as well but getting in trouble for me is I it's I it it gives me anxiety I literally try to do the right thing because things that's happened to me in the past I just try to stay out of trouble I don't want to be in trouble so it's like when you call me and say hey where were you were you didn't do this and just leave it at that now I am now I'm flustered. Now my anxiety is building up. My heart is racing. It'll be something like, hey, you need to check your email. Like, I got a call. Um, Like, it was a little bit ago. But I got a, I got a call saying, the commander needs you to check your email. I don't have access to my email. I've told my leadership that I don't have access to my email. But y'all, I could not check this fucking email. And when I say I was literally about to be in tears because I'm like, what the fuck is there? I need to see it. I need to see it now. Like, what is happening? Or it'd be like, hey, uh, you need to come and you need to come and you need to come here after class and see this person. It's like, oh my God, I still have all these hours to go. I need to get there. I need to figure out what's going on, like what what's happening or I don't like that feeling and I don't know why it I don't know why I do that but I hate it so hearing that they didn't know where I was at or that I need to bring this appointment slip and I need to do this and I need to do that now I'm flustered because I'm like they knew about this so I get to the schoolhouse and I have to battle buddy one of my friends to um, like the office because you need a battle buddy to go into the the instructor's office because she wants to sign out because she's not feeling well cool I need to go there anyway because I'm getting back from my appointment and I need to sign in and don't get me wrong it's nothing against her at all it's nothing against her it's just how I took it but she went to the instructors and she goes hey you know I'm gonna sign out and go to sit car I need to do something because I don't feel well she didn't get any pushback she did not get questioned she did not get any problems at all if in like I, ca I cannot make this shit up every last it was like three different instructors and they all were like oh no take care of yourself go handle what you need to handle oh take care of you take care of you take care of you and I lost it. I, I couldn't even, I didn't even have words. I didn't even have words because I was so fucking mad because I'm like, all she had to do was do that. That's all she had to do. So that's what everybody else have to do. But meanwhile, here I am, I'm getting fucking lectured. I have to, you better bring an appointment slip or you know what? Y'all, yeah. Yeah. this shit is not worth my mental health. And so today I was just basically like, I don't want to finish this program. I don't know if that's, that's how I felt in a moment. And honestly, a part of me still feels like that, but I made it this far and I don't want to like stop. But honestly, I'm just here to speak to the commander just to see if this is something that's going to continue to happen and carry over into second phase. I don't want to stay here. I know this may seem super trivial, some people but for me like mentally is killing me and it shouldn't even be this big of a deal like why is this affecting me so much and that's the question I ask myself like this shouldn't be a big deal I've dealt with worse things than this so why is dealing with this bothering me so much I don't know why so yeah that's why I'm here but my appointment is in five minutes <laughs> one second <laughs> But my appointment is in five minutes and I have to make sure I'm in there a little bit early so they know that I'm here. Honestly, this is where I'm in in this vlog because I'm just exhausted and I need, I just, I just have a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to think about. So I'll see you guys in my next video and hopefully I'm still in the freaking course and I didn't lose my mind completely. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.